What's up, Soul Nation? Brian here, and Boycott Borderlands 3 is trending on Twitter. That was a fun thing to wake up to. And so what this video is going to be about is essentially what has been going on, what the accusation is, and then I'm going to share my own thoughts about, uh, you, know, you know, obviously any kind of boycott as well as any hashtag campaign on Twitter. Uh, that's pretty much what you're in store for, so I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below. So what is boycotting Borderlands 3? Essentially, it, you know, the accusation here is that a YouTuber was bullied by two private investigators who he invited into his house when they, they showed up at his door, which honestly I think is incredibly intimidating if somebody in suits saying they're investigating you shows up to your door. I totally, I totally get that. I totally understand that. Anyway, they're investigating him because of various leaks that, <laughs> um, that Gearbox and 2K did with their whole Twitch extension. So... All in all, they've ended up finding a lot of things. They found a lot of testers. They went and followed those testers. They did all these different things. And it looks like a lot of the leaks were real. And that's kind of what kicked it off. And so you're seeing here I have various tweets that are kind of being quoted uh, for people to kind of take it into account, right? So Atomic Alicorn here says, here's why people want to border, uh, you know, boycott Borderlands 3. Is that Gearbox is half uh, assing aliens years back. Epic Games timed exclusive from Steam. Pitchford melts down on Twitter, among other scandals. Take Two musing out an enthusiastic YouTuber and DCMAs to hire goons in real life because of my spoilers. So what he's talking about is that so not only did the private eyes uh, show up to uh, to the YouTuber, and I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I keep missaying his name. So it's Sup Matto. I'm gonna say it that way. Hopefully I got it right. So they show up to his house, then they, they DCMA his YouTube account. Then they also get him kicked off of Discord. And then he essentially took down his Twitter because he was, I guess, I don't know, worried about that controversy. But with Atomic's tweet here, honestly, I think first two, uh, first two things can be ignored. And the, the second two are actually kind of what are, what are weighted. So Pitchford has been having meltdowns on Twitter. And then there's other scandals, which people inform me about. I'm not going to dive into that here. Excuse me. <laughs> Take two then also as musling or muscling out the enthusiastic YouTuber, DCMA, etc. So if this is true, if these accusations are true, this is either a dumb move by uh, 2K because this is only going to get people talking about it more, more YouTube videos, more coverage. I don't know if that's what you're going for or this is an incredibly smart move by 2K getting that anger, getting that frustration, getting obviously all of the conversations around Borderlands 3, which is launching just a month away. Uh, I honestly, I, you know, I support everybody who goes and wants to take a stand and do a boycott. But if the game is good, then it doesn't matter. Uh, gamers will play the game. You can be personally upset about it, and that's fine. I support you in your personal boycott. I've boycotted things before. Uh, it's just something, <laughs> it's important to kind of take a stand where you need to take a stand. This is true, and this is not essentially, if they're, if they're trying to suppress this, I don't know why in 2019 people think they can try to suppress things off the internet especially when you tell people they can't see something can't do something can't say something they're going to do it say it and uh, probably do it much louder and then the internet's going to rally behind you because freedom of, you know freedom of speech is hugely important i think that's a very powerful thing i really always appreciate it his first two points uh, for atomic saying gearbox uh, the aliens and epic games like those seem like in my opinion more minor infractions yes you can be upset about it yes like uh you know okay aliens sucked or you know you didn't like it okay well that was then and now you're talking about a new game so all this is all this will end up being ultimately is that if gearbox releases a good game if borderlands 3 is epic and fun and amazing you know i boycott borderlands 3 is just something that we're talking about today and you know it doesn't matter but if it fails if it fails, it's going to be really interesting because then essentially it's going to, you're going to, that gets added to the list and then you're going to see uh, Gearbox uh, in itself, 2K, uh, struggle. And that's going to be, and that's kind of where articles and negative and even just the, you know, the movement wins. Because if somebody is just kind of like doing it, let's say this is not true, but lot, lots of theory here. They win in regards of if it's a good game and everybody moves on and forgets about it, everybody forgets about like this hashtag. However, if they are right, then they, they only tend to gain a you know, cloud of saying like, see, I called it, I told you, I told you this was going to be bad. And we have a, a tendency within the kind of the like gaming spectrum right now, which is somewhat frustrating, um, where like we either put up a lot of hype behind a game and are really excited and then are just, you know, dashed, unfortunately. 
or or uh, we hate things well before they have the ability to kind of like take root. Um, and it all seems to be surrounded by this concept of clout. I don't know. Like I said, I'd love to know what you guys are thinking. Sound off in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that share button. Let me know what you're thinking. Let's have those conversations. And be sure to check out all our other channels. We've got a couple of projects in the work that I hopefully uh, that you're very excited about. And I look forward to sharing them with you in the future. But for Soul Nation... I'm Ginger Prime, Brian, a.k.a. <laughs> Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Whoa, you guys are the best. Jorge, Kyle, Philip, 31 Edwards, Rock Druid, Corey Longwood, Aaron, Axis, Hambone, Lady Wild to plays, <laughs> CN Nabs, this is going too fast, Christopher, Phil, Shun, Dragons, Soul, Keen, Knights, Assassin, Carlos, Sherry, Robert, Leyland, Davon, Tim, Jojo World, Terrace, Soar, Scrub Lord, Trevor, Mill, Little Almond, 70s, Kimber, Tyler, oh my god, I'm so sorry, Cody, Legend, Armin, Carlos, Atlas, Jonathan, Jade, Sai, Derek, Brandon, Aaron, Riku, Daryl, Chemistro, Lauren, The Wolf, The Gar, Kelly, Anthony, Solid, John, Huskry, oh my god, uh, everybody, Dark Later, Christopher, uh, Vestman, Sean, Nopi, Brian, Tom, Dylan, Silent, whew, <sighs> I missed your names. I'm sorry. I love you all. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was tough.